A look in the corner of Joe Warren. Twice he was in danger, Jimmy, of being submitted by that man, Eric Marriott. Uh, and, and what's amazing is those weren't good escapes. That's not how you're supposed to get out of those positions, but just a lot of guts and heart, able to muscle his way out. Round number two, this is our second featherweight quarterfinal Bellator Fighting Championships, making its season two debut. We're at the Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino in Hollywood, Florida. Eric Marriott in the red and black trunks. Joe Warren, 2006 Greco-Roman Wrestling World Champion, is in the black trunks. Jimmy, to me, that's round one for Eric Marriott. No, it certainly is, but the one thing, you know, you see Joe Warren looks a little tired at the start of this round, and every time we talked about Eric Marriott as an opponent, he kind of thought, oh, I've got this guy handled, I know I can beat him. A lot of times, when you're not ready for a tough fight, you don't have the gas for a long fight. We'll see if Joe Warren can uh, outlast his opponent, make it through to the third round. Jimmy, I announced Eric Marriott's second professional fight. It was a third round submission versus Ted Worthington in Independence, Missouri, May of 2008. Last August, you and I did on an M1 Breakthrough show in Kansas City, Kansas, Marriott's three round, not a very pretty unanimous decision win over Tim Baser. Marriott said that he was more nervous for the Baser fight than Warren because he said against Baser, who really is an unknown outside of the Midwest circuit, he wasn't in shape. He said against Warren, I'm in the best shape of my life. Well, like I said in the beginning of this fight, the guy with the gas is gonna be more successful. Both of these guys are grinders. Six times Eric Marriott has gone the three round this limit. Once he's gone the five round limit. Both of his career losses by three round decision. Now, this is exactly where Joe Warren wants to be. On top, Eric Marriott's head in the cage. Now it's gonna be interesting to see how the judges scored that first round and just goes to the decision. Eric Marriott did more to try to finish the fight. Joe Warren controlled more of the round. Marriott keeping his composure. Warren trying to work, trying to stay active. He's trying to stack Eric Marriott, now throwing the knees. That's smart from Joe Warren. No, it certainly is, showing a lot of cage sense here. The problem is, Sean, in Bellator, he's got a very, very steep learning curve. This is not the time to learn on the job against very, very tough opponents, but he's been doing that since the start of his career. Warren getting the better things here in round number two, and it's really just by superior positioning. Yeah. It is, but but also you have the, the the fact that you get sweatier, you get more tired. The submissions that Eric Marriott almost got at the end of the first round are harder and harder to pull off as the fight progresses. And we've seen Joe Warren is not easy to submit anyway. Jimmy, you teach jujitsu, you teach MMA. Would you ever teach those escapes by Joe Warren? Not at all. You got to sit back, raise your head up. There's a lot of things he didn't do, but you know, guts and heart you can't teach, and Joe Warren has plenty of that. Now going for it, looks like a darts choke. I don't know if he knows the darts choke. <laughs> and it's funny, it, it makes this fight so unpredictable when you have someone as raw as Joe Warren. You don't know exactly what he's going for. You don't know what he's learned in the last year at Team Quest. Don't call this one. But so far, I like what he's doing. Uh, you know, the death of a lot of wrestlers in MMA is they don't stick to the script. They tr they fall in love with their other skills. They try and box. They try and do jujitsu. Joe Warren is having none of that. He knows he's a wrestler. He's sticking to his strength. Nice short little hammer fist with the left hand by Joe Warren. See Warren locking the hands there on Marriott's shoulder. I don't even know what he's going for. Well, you know, another thing is Joe Warren, when you shake hands with him, his grip is incredible. He wrestles 132 pounds. His hands feel like vices. He's very, very strong. All those wrestlers, Randy Couture, Dan Henderson, incredible grips. Nice right hand by Warren. So it's all about body control, Jimmy, all about positioning by Joe Warren. It is, and he's staying very, very busy. He's not giving the referee a chance to stand this fight up. Hasn't even gotten one warning for stalling. He stayed very active. If you're in Eric Marriott's corner, what are you saying to your man? Well, he's doing everything right defensively. He's not doing enough to relieve the pressure and get Joe Warren off of him. Not elevating in the guard, not trying to control the hands. He's got to move a little bit, be a little bit more active off his back. But as the three judges here in Florida are watching this, this is Joe Warren's round because Marriott's playing defense and not offense. Oh, so far, it's been a wipeout. He's been on top, doing damage, not going for a lot of submissions, but landing some significant strikes. Open guard from Eric Marriott. You see, though, Marriott, he continues to move off of his back, shrimping from side to side, and it's difficult to shrimp against the cage. Also, Joe Warren using the cage very effectively, keeping him trapped against it. It's very hard to use your guard in that position. 
closing seconds of round number two. To the surprise of very few, we are going to a third and final round. 